Hi everyone. So today we'll see a uh, few entry questions what they frequently ask. Okay. So I'm just going to cover only two entry questions. Okay. The workflow level. Okay. So the first thing is suspending the workflow. They can directly ask that. So how to how to use this uh, suspending the workflow? So can you explain where this option is where this option is available or else? They can give a scenario like this. I have a workflow. I have a session one, session two, session three, and session four, session five. Okay. So this and this got completed already due to some error. This and this got failed because let's see i okay so this and this got failed sorry this color and this is not yet run okay so this two got failed or else let's assume only one got failed okay let's assume or else take it like this only. okay so s1 s2 got completed S3 is failed due to some reason. S4 and S5 waiting for the dependency. So S3 should complete. Okay. So if I run the workflow, okay, if I run the workflow, it should not run again S1 and S2. I want to run from S3. Okay. So you can say that we can right click on that. And you can re, I mean, restart from this particular task. Yes, you can do that. Suppose you have multiple failures. Let's see, this also got failed. Let's see, there are two sessions. Okay, this two got failed. So this is waiting for dependency. This is completed. If you enable this option, suspend the workflow option in the session, oh, sorry, workflow level. So what exactly it will do is, whenever you enable the suspend, the workflow option, you suspend on error or something, okay? If you restart or you are, you are starting the workflow, so it will, it won't run this two. It's only, it will execute the failed sessions, then whatever it is not, run yet that also will run so what is the main uh, thing or else where the main key point you have to remember here is so already completed sessions it will not run so it will save a lot of time okay you suppose let us say we have 20 sessions so 10 already completed 11th one got failed so usually if you restart right if you sorry if you start the workflow what it will do it will start again from first, correct? So if you use this suspend on error option, suppose any of the session failed due to some error, if you start the workflow, just whatever the failed session is there from that particular point, it will run. Okay, it won't run already completed sessions. It will run only the failed sessions and whatever that sessions which is not at run that also it will run so only thing the key point here is whenever you enable the suspend on error option in the workflow level okay so then what exactly it will do is just it will run only the failed workflows sorry failed sessions and which not at run those things only it will run already completed sessions it will not run so it will save a lot of time if you have n number of sessions in your workflow. Okay, suppose if you take, so uh, if you take some of the project which I worked, there is a session it contains like, sorry, mapping contains like we have 28 sessions. So such kind of workflows if you have, right, this will be really helpful. So where these options are available, suspend on error. So this is available in the, workflow level and 
you can see that so you have to go to the general first you have to go to the workflow go to the edit option then click on the general see suspend on error this option if you enable so whenever you run the workflow again it will not run already completed sessions it will run only failed sessions and also it will run what are the sessions waiting for the dependency or waiting for this uh, sessions failed sessions it will run so the only key point you have to remember here is it, if you enable this option if any of the session failed due to some error so it will run only the failed and not run sessions failed and not run whatever as of now not run only completed it will not run again so if you have n number of sessions in your workflow it will save a lot of time okay that is the point that is the suspending on error option so they may directly ask it or else they can give the scenario like this so these are the uh, this is my workflow so this are uh, this particular session got failed due to some reason so i don't want to run again from starting so how to do that you can use the suspend option okay so there is one question and one more question we are going to cover today is resume from last checkpoint so this they can ask directly so can you explain what is mean by resume from last checkpoint or else they can ask so can you tell me where this option what is this option and where it is available okay or else they can give a scenario <clears throat> so let's see i my source having 20 million records and the target i have okay so i have started this particular workflow okay so it is already inserted 5 lakh records into my target so 5 lakh record inserted into my target so 5 lakh record inserted into my target due to some error it got failed okay due to some error it got failed after loading 5 lakh records okay it's already this entire process took let's see like one and a half hour okay if i run my particular workflow again i don't want to wait one and a half hour again so from 5 lakh one okay 5 lakh one record it should start loading the data so how can we achieve this so this is the, like if they want to ask some scenario basically like they can ask like this. or else if they want to ask directly they can ask like this so if they ask this this type of question so you can say that so in session level we have an option called resume from last checkpoint so if you use this option or if you enable this option so whenever we restart a particular a workflow it or suppose let's take a session got failed if you restart it it will sorry not a workflow so it's a session uh, the, if you restart the session it will read the data from failed point so where this option available so i am just showing the screenshot so here you have to go to the properties once you go to the properties you go to the recovery strategy second option see that resume from last checkpoint if you use this option if you restart it the particular session it gets i mean sorry it just read the data from the failed point so what the failed point here so after loading the data five lakhs into target it got failed due to some reason so yeah, i'm just saying giving example not only five anything it will be suppose it got failed after reading one lakh suppose oh, sorry loading so after two lakhs loading it got failed so again i don't want to start from first record onwards some people what they do is like so they ask the question like this resume from last checkpoint some people ask the question like this some people they want to confuse they can ask like this so answer will be only one if they ask like this you just 
explain that resume from last checkpoint. So we have an option in the session level. If we enable that, it will extract the data from last failed point. So this is the way how to explain this resume from last checkpoint. So suspending the workflow, as I said. So what is suspending? Suspending the workflow on error. So that is the, if they ask like that only, you can explain the same scenario. So what exactly does suspending the workflow on error? So, I mean, whatever the completed sessions, it will not run again. If you restart the workflow, it only restart the failed sessions, then whatever the sessions which is not yet run. So the only use of this one is, so it will save a lot of time because already completed sessions we are not going to run again. So this is very small. Let's see you have like a 30, 35, 30 to 35 sessions you have in the workflow. So what you will do that case? 20 already completed. It took like two hours already. So such kind of cases, it will be very useful if you enable that suspending on error. So that's available in the workflow level. So this option available in the session level. So we have to note down this part. So this will be very useful. I think this is the frequently asked question. So this is this nowadays this this house they're asking. So they can ask say I mean scenario like this. Okay, so I think it's it's clear for everyone. So we'll see in the next session with different topic. Thanks so much.